This morning we're getting new insight into how the world came to Jackie Kennedy's aid after the assassination of her husband. The JFK Presidential Library released a flood of sympathy messages Tuesday. As Anthony Mason reports, they come 50 years after Ms. Kennedy made her first public comments following the murder. The knowledge of the affection in which my husband was held by all of you has sustained me. Jackie Kennedy kept some 7,000 condolence letters in her personal collection, notes from ordinary people all over the world. An Italian artist offered a bust he'd made of the president. A teacher sent a photo of a boy named for JFK she'd met in Africa. This letter came from Maxine McNair in Alabama. When the tragic news came across the airwaves again, she wrote, my heart said it isn't true, it didn't happen. Mrs. McNair's daughter, Denise, and three other girls had been killed five months earlier in the bombing of the 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham. Isn't it strange, she said, how people with so much to give to the world are taken. The president's widow saved many letters from children. 13-year-old Bob Thorne felt partly responsible for the tragedy. It was kind of my fault, he said, revealing he'd received a C in American history at school. After this tragic loss, I realized that I could do plenty to help my country. Next term, I promise you, I'll get an A. Boy Scout Explorer Post 187 offered to help you move into your new apartment when you come here to the city of New York in the fall. Mrs. Kennedy is deeply touched. Her secretary, Nancy Tuckerman, wrote back, declining the thoughtful offer. All of you who have written to me know how much we all loved him and that he returned that love in full measure. Fifty years ago, the First Lady promised the letters would be saved in the Kennedy Library, where they're now an archive of America's grief. For CBS This Morning, Anthony Mason, New York. Absolutely beautiful. It's extraordinary beautiful, yeah, mm -hmm. for, for the woman especially who lost her daughter in the bombing, the Birmingham bombing. Absolutely. Yeah. And each of these letters included a response from Mrs. Yeah. Kennedy's office uh, to each of those. And what an incredible yeah. treasure there. The, the, the other thing that's interesting is we will not know, I think, until 2067, uh, the transcript of the interviews that she gave right after the assassination. Yes. It'll be a long time before more of that. There's more to in, inside the Kennedy Library there. Right.